Okay, well, the world is full of wonderful people going out of their way to raise money for people in need in the real world and helping them out in a real and meaningful way. Uh, we're often inspired by these magnificent people doing this magnificent work for others, and some people may be surprised to learn that some of these organisations have brought their charitable work to second life. My first guest this evening is part of Cradles to Crayons, which for the past eight years has been giving clothes and toys to children who literally don't have enough warm clothes on their back, and they're doing this in second life too. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to introduce to you now one of the people involved in this inspiring work. Welcome my first guest this evening, Pamela Portsmouth. Okay, Cradles to Crayons. Tell us first of all, what is Cradles to Crayons all about? Well, Cradles to Crayons <clears throat> is a, a charity that gives um, new and gently used clothing, toys, uh, filled back packs, things like that, to homeless children, children who are living in poverty. The other part of it is it involves uh, children who are uh, living in, in more comfortable circumstances, getting their families involved in the volunteering and learning the joy of giving. So that's, um, that's one of the reasons why um, President Clinton um, did a great fundraiser for it. Now, what we're doing here in Second Life is I have opened um, a store called Coast to Coast, and I am having um, some big retailers donate uh, items. Why don't we just take a look at what President Clinton had to say when oh, he was at that fundraiser for Cradles oh, to Cradles? certainly, yeah. I can't think of anybody anywhere in the country that's done a better job than you have. I am very grateful to you. I'm very proud of Lynn and grateful to her. And I'm honored to be here tonight to uh, to be a small part in tonight's events later to raise a little more money so you can dramatically increase the number of children you're helping in the years ahead. Thank you. Bless you. Well, that's high praise indeed, isn't it? You know, former president basically giving you a well-deserved pat on the back. Well, um, I think the people who... Um, founded Cradles to Crayons, Lynn McGarrio for one, and um, the President Jim Stevens were working so hard um, with Pete, with organizations like the Boston Bruins, um, the Celtics, the Patriots. Um, everybody's very, very involved in this big community push. And, um, and the goal of Cradles to Crayons is to be coast to coast, hence the name of the store. Yes, the second life store, the Coast to Coast Plaza. I actually yeah. went and had a look over there today. It's a rather smart plaza, uh, and you'll be filling that out with retailers whose mm -hmm. part of their profits, or perhaps all of their profits, goes towards the Cradles to Crayons charity. Yes. Whenever something is purchased at this at the plaza, Coast to Coast Plaza, um, we're working on a script where the money will be converted from Linden's uh, into dollars and be deposited directly into Cradles to Crayons' um, online account for donations. Um, you can go to www.cradlestocrayons.org and um, find out more about the organization there. Why do you why do you do it? Why do people like you? I'm curious to know what motivates people like you to give so much of their time and of themselves and doing it all for others, most of whom... Um, the children's, because the children begin to start school um, with the things they need to feel safe, loved and secured. And the children who are advantaged um, learn that um, there is a responsibility. Also, people tend to think of Second Life as such a hedonistic place, you know, where you can be anything, go anywhere, do anything, completely mm -hmm. unrealistic things. Mm -hmm. um, do you anticipate there being, you know, enough charitable souls out there who would be willing to make this kind of a contribution in Second Life? Absolutely. Um, at Designs, a time um, after we had sp after you and I had spoken earlier this afternoon, she contacted me and came to the store and set something up right then and there, and it just was a chance meeting. My feeling is there's a lot of people out there who want to help a lot of people. Well, I think it's an absolutely magnificent thing that you're doing. I'm really uh, impressed by it, and I wish you all the very best oh, of luck. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Pamela Portsmouth. Oh, thank you so much.